Joey has been battling medical odds ever since he was a little baby. Born without legs due to, due to a rare birth defect, Joey's birth mother abandoned him at the hospital. He later ended up in a Romanian orphanage and never saw her again. He had no legs, no family, and no real understanding of life outside that orphanage's walls. Until one day, one woman changed everything. In 1998, I had just gotten divorced. I read an article in Reader's Digest about the orphanage in Bacau, Romania, about the children there, and I just couldn't stop thinking about it. I just felt compelled to go to this orphanage. The first day, I was walking through a hallway there, and this little boy came zooming through the hallway on this pink Barbie car that had been donated to the orphanage. He kind of used it as a scooter, and I heard beep beep. Um, and I looked down into these bright, beautiful eyes and it just struck me. I, I just knew as well as I knew my own name that I was supposed to be his mother. I looked up at her and I saw her and I said, oh my goodness, that, that's, good. that's my mommy right there. He had five inch long legs and he had a little clubbed feet on the end of those. My birth mother had taken a medicine called thalidomide and it made my legs not grow all the way. So, he needed to have parts of his legs amputated so that he could wear prosthetics, but the only place they could do the surgery that he needed was here in the U.S. One of my jobs in the evening was to bathe all the children and get them ready for bed. One day I was cutting fingernails and Joey couldn't wait on his turn. He was sticking his hands out and wanting me to cut his fingernails. And when I finished, I reached for his foot and he, he jumped back on the bed and pulled the covers up and he said, no, no for most. And um, my, little understanding of Romanian, I knew that that meant they're not beautiful. And um, I pulled his little feet out and I started kissing them and I said, they're beautiful to me. And um, he climbed up in my lap and hugged me and I just held him and rocked him. And um, it, there just was an immediate bond with us as a mother and as a son. It took a year and a half before I could get back and get him, before I could arrange doctors and surgery and all the things that he would need. And he came to the United States with a bright smile on his face. Joey had been here about a year and a half when we were able to get the surgery for him to remove the clubbed feet and to prepare his leg to be able to fit into a prosthesis. He had his surgery and when he woke up, he looked down and he said, cool man, straight legs. <laughs> The doctor said, I've never had anyone be happy that I amputated their feet. Joey got his first pair of legs in the spring of 2001, and that was a proud day. And I remember putting them on, and I was like, oh, this is such a life changer for me. Oh my goodness, I can walk now. I can actually stand on my own two legs. Please welcome Joey's adopted mother and father, Crystal and Joe, to the show. Thank you. What a blessing to have you here. I am struck by one of the comments that you made during that tape piece, and I don't think there was a, a dry eye in here when you pulled back those covers and you, you kissed Joey's feet and you said, they're beautiful to me. That was... Um just a moment we, we connected so much just I never felt that he was someone else's child I felt that when I walked into that orphanage and looked into his eyes I, I recognized him and he was mine and from that moment I just whatever it would take to get him the life he needed was what I wanted to do I do have to ask because Joe you met Crystal after she had already adopted Joey? We dated for probably a month before she even let me see him. But she told me about him, and, um, and then she showed me a, an article. There was, a, there was a feature story done in a newspaper when they had all this surgery done, all about Joey and Crystal and what had happened, bringing him over here. And, and I saw that article in the paper, and I, and I said, can I borrow this? And, and, um, I took it to my mother and I said, you need, to, you need to read this article because this is the woman I'm going to marry. Yeah, she was very special. Um, we adopted Joey together uh, and we have two little girls uh, naturally since then as well. I understand 
Joe was able to walk you down the aisle? Yes, he did. <laughs> he was very proud that day. He had been convinced when he got here that I just couldn't figure out how to get a father for him. Um, he, he had this strong uh, Eastern European accent at the time, and he would say, you know, do the men's not like you. Because my Aunt Kelly, she has husband. My Aunt Dana, she has husband. You, no husband. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Joey was initially fit for his prosthetic legs after the amputation at what age? He was about eight years old when he had his surgery and then a few months for healing time and before he could be fitted but, with prosthetics. But fit for an eight-year-old's body, right. his prosthetic legs and... And with limited resources, Crystal and Joey, they knew they had to do something to try to get him bigger legs. And I have to say, this is a pretty sweet idea they came up with. I've been wearing prosthetic legs since 2002. I'm wearing an old set. This is a kid set I'm wearing, so the components that I'm wearing are also for a kid. I'm 30 pounds over the weight limit of what the knee can hold. I'm breaking the knee in a month when it's supposed to last three years. I've seen Joey get hurt a lot. I've seen him just standing still motionless and his legs give way and he just falls. I remember I was going to get a drink and I opened up a cabinet and I felt it was a body slam on the ground. I heard a gasp and I turned around just in time to see um, him hit the ground and his head literally bounced off the floor. Oh my goodness, the cast hurts like crazy. I've got sores on my leg from where it's been rubbing against the wall of the cast, rubbing it to nothing. It's like bleeding in the cast, it's uh, rubbing so bad. It's about $120,000 to get a complete set of legs. That's when I realized that we had to get the funding for these legs. A few months ago, my uh, mother came to me and she said, okay, Joey, you know, your, your insurance, they're not gonna cover your legs. So what do you think about raising up the money ourselves? What do you think about, you know, going out and selling donuts? So I started going out selling donuts. Me and a table and 50 boxes of donuts and a sign that said, Joey needs new legs. It kind of felt, made me feel degraded to begin with. I had never had to you know, ask anyone for anything really. It's just kind of weird and uh, to begin with. And now I, I love doing it. Yeah. I'll take a bite. Good for you. I didn't have a choice to say no. I was just uh, like, okay, let's go. You know, I want wins. Let's do this. Well, I, I must applaud your ingenuity on that <laughs> one. And how much have you raised so far? Over $30,000 raised with <laughs> selling them. <laughs> And how much did the prosthetics cost? $120,000 for prosthetics, so it's a lot of donuts. I'm 30 pounds over the weight limit of what the knee can hold. I'm breaking the knee in a month when it's supposed to last three years. It's about $120,000 to get a complete set of legs. That's when I realized that we had to get the funding for these legs. Born without legs, Joey, who is now 20 years of age, has outgrown his pediatric prosthetic legs. And in an effort to raise money for his adult prosthetic legs, he and his family decided to sell, well, these <laughs> donuts. And amazingly, Joey was able to raise thousands and thousands of dollars, but it wasn't nearly enough. And we wanted to try to help out, so we sent Joey over to one of the best prosthetics companies in the country, Hanger Clinic the largest provider in the world to see if there was anything they could do. Hey, Joey, how are you? Good, Good to see you. So what we're going to do, we're going to actually have you take your right leg off. All right. Let me get this. Just squeeze your muscles there for a minute, fire them up. So you have good control. So next we're going to actually take a cast of your leg. This is a silicone liner, and very protective of your bony areas. Right now we're making a cast of Joey's leg, getting an impression for his sockets. Keep it relaxed. Keep more relaxed. Oh, there we go. We got it. We got it. We're going almost. Yeah, oh, wow. Look at you. Nice. Great. So this is the impression of his leg, of Joey's leg. And we will bring this back to the lab and we will pour the plaster. Then we're going to make a diagnostic clear socket. Yeah. And put it back on your leg and we'll be ready to go. This is our lab back here where we, we actually uh, fabricate the prosthesis. This would be considered the negative mold of Joey's leg. That right there is a positive mold of Joey's leg. So we got a plaster cast that we can work on and we're able to mold plastic over those calves in order to start the process of fitting him with a socket. 
on his legs. This cast is ready for us to start modifying it. This is Shape and Joy's uh, socket or diagnostic socket, which is a clear socket. We will be able to see right through the socket and make sure that it's fit and Joy in the right area. So now we're going to start assembling the sea legs, and sea leg meaning computer need, not for going into the ocean. So what do these have? Basically four sensors within the pylons that gives loads of information back to the computer in the knee to let the patients walk on uneven terrain, um, up and down stairs, sit down into a chair. We can program it so that they can drive a car. In order to program the sea leg, we use a Bluetooth connection. So we use this little device right here that we plug into the knee. And you know you got power on when that blue light comes on. All right, bud, so I'm gonna let you pop up and I want you to push down into that socket for me, okay? There you go. Boink. All right, we have a lot more work to do. Yeah. As you, as you know, Rome was not built in a day, so. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Please oh. welcome Vice President of Prosthetics for Hanger Clinic, Kevin Carroll, to the show. Kevin, great to have you. So we were able to watch some of that piece, how you went about working on a prosthetic for Joey, but how did that fitting go? Uh, Joy is fitting it very difficult. Actually, I have a mock-up of a hip joint here. Joy is missing his hip joint. Like you and me, we have a joint like this, very solid. If you could imagine taking that away, Joy's hip is moving around on every step. So very painful and very difficult. So we have these sockets we call comfort flex sockets. That we fit them that we can contain and lock you know, that hip as correct in place as possible. Then, of course, we have fitted them with some very high-tech legs called Audubox Sea Legs, which we're very excited about. And uh, we just, by the way, we fit them with them this morning, and he took off walking, walking downstairs naturally, step over step, walking down steep inclines. Just incredible. Very inspirational to see him. And I have another little piece of good news today that we figured out a way that we can get these legs to Joy, so he would be leaving this doctor's show today with the legs. Mom, oh. are, you, are you ready to, to see Joey walk in his oh. new adult legs that he's going to go home with today? I cannot and believe this. each and every day from here on out? Audience, are you all ready? Oh, how wonderful. Here's Joey Thank taking you. his first steps in his new legs. Come on out, Joey. <laughs> so wonderful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So this is your floor. Anything that you want to say? Um, well, I'd like to first of all thank the people at Hangar who made the prosthetics. It is hard work. And I'd love to thank Mr. Kevin for helping design the leg and uh, get them built. And I'd love to thank my parents for adopting me and bringing me all the way over here and uh, taking care of me. And uh, I'd like to thank the Lord to, for helping me get this set of legs. and. Uh, being where I am today and being on this show, I mean, it's, a, it's by the grace of God that I'm here. I'm yeah. sure you're now. Yeah. So I can tell you right now that you, you're an inspiration to a lot of people. And um, we do have one more surprise if you're willing to stick around. Oh, okay. <laughs> you up for it? <laughs> 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 I know. One more surprise after amazing. the break. <laughs> stick around. Welcome back. Joey, who was born without legs, just walked on our stage for the first time in his brand new legs from Hangar Clinic. And uh, during the break, Joey was showing me some stuff that's pretty <laughs> remarkable. These, these are truly bionic legs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you're like swirling it around and... <laughs> Don't try that at home. <laughs> so anything that you're hoping to do now, things that you could never do before... Yeah, I want to actually help other kids get legs, too. And uh, 
uh, help other kids get adopted as well. That's why we've started a charity now to, to do that. And, uh, and what's so the name yeah. of your charity? Grace's Lamp. Grace's Lamp. Yeah. We're going to have a link on our website to Grace's Lamp. And I understand that you have uh, two little sisters. I do. Are they excited, do <laughs> you think, to be doing some of this stuff with you? Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Well, your, your, your little sisters are excited to hang out with you as well. Let's take a look. I'm excited so when Joey gets new legs that we will be able to ride together. My brother's never ridden a bike, and so I really hope he gets his new legs so he can ride a bike with us. Please welcome Joey's little sisters, Morgan and Hannah. <laughs> you get your new bike? Oh, oh. Go get your bike. We got you a bike. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good to see you. How about that? Uh, How about that, Joey? I got a oh, oh. I'm going to have Joey grab his new bike because <laughs> courtesy of Jameis, this is a new Explorer bike oh, wow. that you're going to get it. Go out there and ride with you. You want to ride bikes with your big brother? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, come, come over here and hang out yeah, with us. Come here. <laughs> Oh, Come here, dude. oh, thank you all so much. It's so kind of you, really. Wow. Uh, you know, again, Kevin, yeah. thank you so much for what Harris Health has done for Joey. And Crystal and Joe. Thank you. Proof that love can conquer mm. all. Thank you so oh, very much. More than we could ever say. Thank you. All right, you're going to keep us posted? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thank you. And as I mentioned, Joey, along with his family, has started a foundation. It's called Grace's Lamp to help other amputees receive prosthetics. We'll have more info at thedoctorstv.com. We'll be right back.